Littleton is the latest school district to announce a plan to send kids back to classrooms. Preschool through elementary school students will return January 5th, with older students moving to a hybrid model later on that month. Denver and Douglas County are the other metro area districts with plans to return to in-person learning. DPS hopes to have all students back, including high school students, by February. Jefferson, Jefferson County says it will release information on its plan as it gets closer to Christmas. Jeff Todd joins us live in Golden tonight. And Jeff, health officials and Governor Polis wants kids back in school, but you've learned not all teachers agree. Karen, the concern is that this move can have some serious consequences. We have heard of some schools having real staffing issues when students were in person because of those quarantine regulations. Earlier this week, parents came here to the Jeffco headquarters to make their voices heard. But at least one teacher now is saying this is all coming too soon. This is my sixth year here at Pomona, but my 23rd year total in the district. And this is where Dale Munholland says he's spending nearly 60 hours a week teaching U.S. history in an empty classroom. He hates it. I really like to develop a lot of relationships with the kids, uh, greet them when they're coming into the classroom, and then I joke around with them. He does class over Zoom from this laptop in his classroom, and he's noticed that students are falling behind. When I ask him, you know, why aren't you turning your work? What can I do to help you? You know, their answer is... They're just not motivated. They're, um, a lot of them are talking about mental health issues that they're having. He says there are more problems too. But this week, when he saw Jeffco parents conducting this car rally to get kids back into the classroom, he got concerned. I don't want to get it. I don't want other people in the building to get it. It's, you know, it's not safe. I'd much rather them be here, but it's not safe yet. As other districts lay out a plan for high schoolers to return in February, Munholland is concerned it's going to repeat the pattern from a few months ago, having kids bouncing between school and home depending on virus infection rates. That's worse for the kids' mental health and their academic um, well-being, just bouncing in and out, in and out. He's hoping a return to normalcy can come just later in the spring. And at least have the seniors have a normal graduation and, and maybe a prom. Mr. Munholland told us that his biggest concern is getting the virus and then taking it home to his family. He's going to be watching these case counts over the next month. Jeffco Public Schools has said they will make their decision December 23rd. We're live in Golden tonight. Jeff Todd covering Colorado First.